Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing chronic hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is one of the most common chronic viral infection. It is estimated that over 400 million individuals are affected by this condition worldwide. In fact, up to 15 to 20 percent of patients with this virus will die from this condition. It is therefore an extremely important illness that needs to be effectively treated and prevented. Hepatitis B virus is often transmitted from an infected mother to a newborn child during birth. It can also be transmitted through blood and sexual contact. However, hepatitis B is not transmitted by casual physical contact or from food source. Fortunately, it can be entirely prevented by timely vaccination. Hepatitis B is defined as chronic when the infection lasts longer than six months in duration. Many patients with chronic hepatitis B infection may not be aware of their illness because there may be very few symptoms associated with the disease. However, as the disease advances, many begin to complain of persistent and chronic fatigue. Some may complain of anorexia, nausea, and weight loss. As the disease advances further, there may be symptoms such as yellowing of the skin, vomiting of blood, fluid in the abdomen, an altered level of consciousness, and confusion. In fact, the most worrisome complication of chronic hepatitis B is the development of cirrhosis or the hardening of the liver and liver cancer known as hepatoma. The diagnosis of hepatitis B is made based on blood tests. Most commonly performed tests include hepatitis B surface antigen and antibody and liver function test. For confirmed cases of hepatitis B, we may recommend further testing including viral DNA level, alpha fetoprotein, a marker for liver cancer, and sonogram of the liver. There are currently two main types of treatment options available for patients with chronic hepatitis B. They include antiviral drugs and sometimes interferon. The antiviral drugs work by suppressing viral DNA replication. These antiviral drugs may be very effective in preventing cirrhosis and liver cancer, although chronic lifelong therapy is often required. Chronic hepatitis B is an extremely serious condition. For individuals with this illness, it is very important that they undergo a regular routine checkup including periodic liver function tests, alpha fetoprotein determination, and sonogram of the liver. It is also advisable to avoid alcohol and any unnecessary medications. For individuals with active viral replication, the treatment with antiviral drugs is recommended to prevent potential complications including cirrhosis and hepatoma. Thank you for listening.